It seems like the war on meat hits the news every month or so. Typical predictive programming, so people will accept their meatless fate in the near future. And uh, don't worry, you vegan boys, that does not apply to you. Don't get too scared. Oh, uh, we've been saying it for years now. Cow farts destroy our environment, not the deers shitting in the woods. It's definitely the cows. Last week, it was an act titled Pause. Protect animals from unnecessary suffering and exploitation. For some reason, these vegans really like their acronyms. Which requires 125,000 signatures by August of 2022 to be placed on the ballot. Now, the population of Colorado, where this act is, is around 6 million at a rate of 2% veganism. You know, if every vegan was to sign that petition, they would have about 125,000 exactly. However, I'm sure there's plenty of soy boy cucks that would simp for some pretty vegan girl and sign it. Hey, maybe if they send some smoke show half-starving vegan girl to my house dressed in nothing but a silk ribbon, I might fly to Colorado on a private jet with her to sign it myself. This act is doing two major things. One, making it illegal to artificially inseminate an animal, and two, drastically increase the slaughter age of the animals so they can enjoy some of their natural lifespan. So here are the actual definitions in the act. Sexual act with an animal means an act between a person and an animal involving either direct physical contact between the genitals of one and the mouth, anus, or genitals of the other. Sexual act with an animal also includes any intrusion or penetration, however slight, with an object or part of a person's body into an animal's anus or genitals. <sighs> How are the vegans going to have any fun now? Natural lifespan for the following species shall be explicitly defined here based on statistical estimates. Cow, 20 years. Chicken, 8. Turkey, 10. Duck, 6. Pig, 15. Sheep, 15. Rabbit, 6. I mean, I guess you could say this about anything in mainstream news, but this should be very strange to anyone that has critical thinking skills. I've always noticed that vegans don't ever put an emphasis on how the animals are treated or improving the quality of the animal's living conditions. They just care that the animal is being used for meat in general. What shocked me was how many vegan influencers were against my meat company in providing naturally raised, grass-fed, antibiotic-free meat from healthy animals that lived as happy lives as they could possibly have. Those vegans cared about the face value, oh, Frank is selling meat, as opposed to carnivores, ooh-wee, selling tortured, poisoned animals. It's very simple. The goal is to make as many people as weak and stupid as possible. By reducing the amount of meat and the quality of the meat, that's how you do it. Also, scare people into not eating meat. If this act proposed better living conditions on a square foot basis or established stricter guidelines for you know what can go into the animal's feed, they would actually be improving the health and lives of the animals and people consuming said animals. Of course, we can't forget that these lying psychopaths have made climate change a fact without any proof whatsoever. The reason for Kaplis' outrage? In late February, Polis released a proclamation encouraging Coloradans to avoid eating meat for one day on March 20th. Removing animal products from our diets reduces the risk of various ailments, including heart disease. The proclamation noted, it also cited environmental concerns. Beef industry methane emissions are an important driver of climate change, according to scientists. The Meat Out proclamation was symbolic, containing no policy authority. This is what they want the mind of the average person to be molded to. Meat kills you and the environment, and I would say 90% plus of the population believes that. It couldn't be further from the truth. But just like with you know what, <coughs> oh, let me put on my mask. They will use fear through psychological warfare to achieve their goal. If the Middle Ages were real, you know, this reminds you of the peasants eating bread and slap all day and 
the kings and the royals eating feasts full of meat. They've been doing this forever. We know the truth. It's not going to happen gently. You know, compared to what they've done this past year, <laughs> it's pretty much guaranteed they will stage events, as they've been doing every month, to remove access to meat. People are so brainwashed in a negative mindset. You know, when I see these news articles, especially the Asian stuff, oh, just more staged nonsense. How do people eat this stuff up? We saw a glimpse of this last year when the meat processing plants were targeted, workers were getting sick, farmers had to call their animals, literally burying millions of pounds of meat, leading to empty grocery store shelves for months. With this new Wi-Fi infrastructure they have set up, phase array antennas that can be directed at animals, at people, the most likely thing to do is point them at farms, ranches where the animals are being raised, claim all the animals are sick and diseased, they're not fit to consume, but oh, Bill Gates is here to the rescue with bug patties. Yeah, I wonder if they scraped some of that slime off his face to put in the patties. If they did target the animals at the source instead of the slaughterhouse, we're talking years without meat, not mere months. And I feel like a broken record with the climate change control nonsense. You know, I spoke about it in the Texas snow video last week, and after all this corona bullshit dies down, I wouldn't be surprised to see this as their next play. I mean, all the fires, all the stage nonsense they've been doing for years and years and years, it's leading to something. All of that is getting people prepared for what's going to happen so they accept it and don't get up in arms about it. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you could please drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and go to frank com. Check out all my businesses, especially Frankie's Free Range Meat, if you guys would like to help support me in changing the food system. Uh, I'm going to do a video tomorrow, uh, giving you guys an update mainly about the actual vision I have uh, for the meat company. You know, I mean, I haven't even achieved 10% of what I'd like to do. Uh, so please check that out. You know, come to my YouTube page every day because I know you guys aren't getting notified. Uh, but thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.